Hey y'all, today we're gonna go on a magical journey around the outside of the uh, this brand new home down in Manville, and we're gonna keep count on how many different locations is water and bugs gonna get into this house. Keep in mind, this is a brand new home. Okay, first, before I start that, we're gonna just very quickly cover this is not the proper way to install the bonding wire to the gas system, so there's that. All right, so here we go. Y'all keep count for me because I'm not very good at math. I think it's somewhere around 10. So first we got a giant hole next to the window. I can stick my finger down in there. Water and bugs, that's number one. We're gonna go around to the side. In the back of this home. And hole number two. We are missing a brick right there. But not necessarily water because that's right underneath the soffit, but uh, uh, definitely for bugs, even small birds and rodents. This is a good one right here. Missing a row of bricks above the back door. We got some missing mortar right there. Some more missing mortar right there. Back it up. So we're at what, four I believe? Come around the corner. Missing mortar in this joint. I can stick my hand in there. So that's gonna be rain and bugs, possibly wasps. I always like to look underneath, not necessarily for rain on these windows, but that's a fantastic area for wasps and bees to get in. Let's see, what else we got over here? Um, we have some more just minor caulking improvement. That's, that's pretty small, that might be it. So that's at least uh, five or six big areas on a brand new home where not only water, that's going to be the most damaging thing, but uh, definitely for bugs and wasps. I don't know about you, but if I'm buying a brand new home, I don't want to have wasps and bees living in my walls uh, after a couple months because i got so many holes on the outside. So brand new home and still got lots of issues. Thanks.